Hey everyone, it's Calvin again. Um, the problem I've fixed today is the problem with doing count ifs on too much data. So what what people normally do is they'll type in this function here, and they'll uh, what they're doing is they're trying to see how many times this occurs in this list. Well, if the list is 75,000 long, and I drag this down to the bottom. Uh, we're going to have a problem because my entire computer will be frozen for the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes and I won't be able to do any work on the computer, let alone in Excel. <laughs> so I've solved it. Um, all you have to do is click this button. What it does is it uses um, kind of, it uses some VBA and it organizes the data in, in a way that I can perform this function much, much quicker. And uh, what I've done is I've retained the original location of each data point so that when this finish is running, everything will be back exactly the way it was with the number of occurrences all uh, listed out. So the benefit of this is that it's going to um, save you a ton of time. Now, my computer is being kind of lagged down by the recording software uh, creating this video but normally this would be done by now. <coughs> One other thing this does solve is if you try to do a count if on a data point that's longer than 255 characters, you will get an error. So you won't be able to find out uh, what if those items exist more than once in, in a list. This will solve every, that will solve that problem as well. So it doesn't matter what the list, it'll give you the entire thing. So here, um, in just a matter of you know, a few seconds, it will calculate how many times each of these occurs. Now, um, I obviously sell this um, file, but that isn't exactly the point I'm trying to make. The point is, um, you probably have a system like this, and you have your own personal webs, webs uh, excuse me, your own personal Excel spreadsheet that you've been working on, and I have the technology to solve this problem for you. I mean, if you want to buy this file to uh, just kind of copy and paste it and get it done, that's perfectly fine. But um, if you'd like to email me at jobs at excelvbamaster.com, I can implement this into your spreadsheet and make sure that you're running as efficiently as possible.